Dave McCann, who more than anyone wearing the number eight for Ulster tonight will be aware of the arrival in the camp next week of Dwayne Vermeulen, the Leon. World Cup winner, the World Cup final man of the match. Gotcha. Cooney gets it moving again, Billy Burns stepping back off his right foot, Burns so close, driven back by a big hit from Dan Levy. Here goes Away. Jones again, Stay. defensively from Leinster. Carter, McCann there with him. Levy's in an awkward position and Leinster survived the early onslaught from Ulster. No, and how the Northern Hemisphere sides with me. fair on South African soil, unfortunately. We have to wait now for our answer, very disappointing. More. But uh, understandable, obviously, in the circumstances that those games were and and called over. off. But Stay now for the Welsh and the Irish sides, Munster looking and for a route home. That's white to ground. As we said, uh, part of a busy part of the season with those European games looming large. Hardly ideal. As Timothy carries into contact. Ball back inside for Marty Moore. Lovely hands from the tight head. Here's no, the loose head, Warwick. McCann. Go, go, go. Former Ireland under 20 captain. Billy Burns, McCluskey, soft hands for Hume, who's looking to get away and reach for that line. Just held on to by Lorimer, but the chance is there, and the try is scored by Greg Jones. And finally, the pressure pays for Ulster. 16th minute, and they are in for the try. Greg Jones, I'm sure, will be thrilled to score. Good puff inside from Marty Moore. Carter, this is the way Ulster have been narrow all along, but just there, the handoff from Hume and uh, Larmer. Robbie Henshaw does well to get back, but uh, Greg Jones, great line from him. Just coming back against the inside yeah. shoulder of Ross Maloney, but... Uh, From the opposite side, he is drifting it in beautifully inside that right-hand post. And even on uh, limited possession, Leinster, they just look that bit more zippy in attack. Frawley, oh, almost through the gap, what an offload that is for Maloney. One-handed out the back door from Kieran Frawley. Set! So what of the scrum? Solid from Ulster. It's not budged and time for McCann. Use it eight! As Cooney steps away. And now kicks it into the backfield. Looking for a kind bounce. All right, you're out, 12. Hard work for Leinster, though, find themselves back inside their own half. Byrne gets it away. Here is Adam Byrne. So fleet of foot. The offload for O'Brien, met by a big hit from Lowry, but O'Brien keeps it alive. Larmer. Season that began so well, four straight wins. Advantage over. Before running into a very impressive Connacht. Well, here's an opportunity right through the middle. Ross Maloney showing some pace. Almost 17 stone, but just look. I mean, I great bre breakout here by Ross Maloney. He's looking for support. Five metres from the Ulster line. They go to Toner at Ball. the front. And now look to get that more going. Ulster trying to drive them to the sideline. McGrath, crash ball, it's Henshaw, Penny. The posts are beckoning, the line is beckoning for Leinster. Can they get themselves back into this game? They're a metre short. Release back. Frank Murphy, Away, the referee, Ulster. trying to Away, get himself Ulster. in the perfect Don't. position to watch this. Stay up. Ulster holding on and holding firm. Nine, nine. The drive from Ruddock. Nine. Keep hand up, good. Ed Byrne. The latest to be held up just short. Oh, it's awkward for Henshaw, who's got there. What a finish from Robbie Henshaw. Well, the dexterity to claw that ball in and then reach for the line. And with the two points to follow, looking like a certainty from almost under the post. You just see it here, the ball just spills out. A shocking pass from Luke McGrath, but it actually uh, it worked in Robbie Henshaw's favour. He had to dip so low to pick it up. Well, Robbie Henshaw, very, very good tonight. They can see themselves through, perhaps, over. to the victory. Doak opts for the kick, taken by Henshaw. 
The man who's try got Leinster back into the game in the second half. There's a long way to go, though, to the Ulster try line. Three points would tie the game. A try, surely, at this stage would win it for Leinster. Ulster have put in a huge shift here for Dan McFarland. Can they leave with the ultimate reward, Frawley? Oh, for ball, the intercept, and Hume, can he go all the way? James Hume can go all the way, Ulster have the victory! And it's celebrated almost like they've won the league here, and who would blame them? Pilloried for their performance over at the Aviva Stadium in defeat to Connacht five weeks ago. And James Hume, the man to wrap up the win. Well, he's had an outstanding game, hasn't he? And uh, the pressure was on Leinster. They tried to force it too much. He read yeah, that really brilliantly. Sad, and uh, as Very I mentioned, nice. Ulster only won once here please. ever before. This could be a famous oh, victory so for them. Down. And on the back of what the happened against Connacht, so you think psychologically it'll be huge. Well, he gambled and he got the ultimate reward, James Hume. What a big knock. Were to miss this one. But he hasn't missed this one. Such a sweet strike for Nathan Doak. He knows the victory is wrapped up. 20 points to 10 Ulster. James Hume is my URC player of the match. Well, there were questions asked of Ulster tonight. Questions asked after such a fantastic start, four wins out of four, but still questions maybe in terms of some of the manner of those victories. But then that Connacht game where it all went awry and went awry pretty much from the start for them over at the Aviva.